Welcome, everybody, to the latest edition of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and today we're looking at Florida State wide receiver Auden Tate, a guy that has got a lot of intrigue to him. Um, I'm not a big fan of this receiver class. I don't think there's a lot of guys that really stand out as, as potential number one receivers. But what we do have is it's not a bad class, but we got a lot of specialty guys, and Auden Tate is definitely one of them. A big body contested catch type receiver. You know, he's six foot five, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. So body type right away, it jumps at you. Is he a Kelvin Benjamin, a guy that came from also Florida State? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just three plays. It's gonna be a quick video here. Three plays that really stand out, that really highlight the type of receiver that Auden Tate is. And so looking at this first play. He's the outside receiver up here at the top of the screen, uh, out wide. And they are going to run a, he's just going to run downfield, kind of like a go type route. And it's going to be a little bit of a back shoulder fade. So you can tell he's he's right here. He's looking to stay kind of behind. And he's going to react to this ball in the air. And it's not the best thrown ball. And as you see, he's able to kind of turn and control that body to go out of bounds and he's able to get a foot in go up make that catch get the foot in and stay in bounds having that body control being a big guy like him um, he's gonna have to go up and make catches at the catch point win and contested catches so seeing the ability to control his body to, to slow down react back outside keep that foot down is definitely something that I like to see another play that we're gonna see here um looks at you know once again he's a contested catcher he's going to use his size to be able to go up and get the ball shield those defenders off and a big thing that you have to do to have success in that role is not only do you need in my opinion to go up and high point the ball and go up and snatch it out of the out of the air but you got to be able to hold on because he's you know he's not going to get a ton of separation so he's going to be around defenders he's going to get hit hard he's got to be able to hold on to the ball and we see right here, it's a kind of a bunch set on the outside. He's going to release. You know, he's not an overly explosive receiver. But as we see up here, he's able to go get it, and he takes a hit. They're going to show it from the end zone cam. He's going to go up, and he's going to be able to catch this. And then that safety over here drills him. Clean hit. Hits him in the chest. Hits him with the shoulder. But that was a big hit, and Tate held on to the ball. Um, so, once again... He's able to make those catches over, you know, the, the middle of the field, going downfield and making that catch. And as I was saying before, you know, he's not an explosive guy. As we saw in this route, um, he got a good release and he got downfield good. Okay, But, you know, he, he needs to build up his speed a little bit. You know, he's, he's able to build it up the further he works downfield, uh, but he's not going to be quick twitch, explosive off the edge. All right, last clip that I'm going to show you is uh, another example of him. I think he's going to be a big red zone threat. And in here, they're at about the 10-yard line. He's going to end up scoring a touchdown. He's right here at the bottom, um, over the middle once again, just getting it. But here's the where you need to see it. Hey, look at this move that he puts on this cornerback. He's going to go, and he's going to put that big step out. So you think, you know, he sold that he was going to go out on maybe that fade-type route, jump ball. Got the corner to overcommit, broke back inside, and able to go up and make the catch. Okay, so I'm I, I like Auden Tate. I have him just you know kind of right around that tenth ranked receiver. Um, I think he's going to be a guy that can you know develop into a starter. Um, is he ever going to be a true number one receiver? No, but I think he's going to be a nice compliment you know to a quarterback who. Uh, can trust him, that he can throw the ball up to him, go up and make that catch. I think he's got that potential. Um, if he continues to develop, improve his route running enough, you know, just enough uh, that he's able to, you know, get that little bit of separation. But he's going to win his in the NFL going up and making those catches, whether it's in the red zone, whether it's in the, uh, you know, getting first downs. You know, I think he, he's got enough speed that he can work downfield and be a, a downfield threat going up and winning those jump balls. But I also think he's going to, you know, he's going to be able to move the chains. He's going to be a possession receiver, a guy that's not afraid to take a hit, 
a guy that can uh, you know run those outs and run those in-breaking routes for the receiver. The guy that I like to compare him to, and I, and I heard this, and it just made so much sense, and that's Devin Funchess. You know, you look at what Funchess was at Michigan. He was basically an oversized receiver. You know, there's talk of moving him into tight end. Um, he's gone on to play for the Panthers and slowly develop into their, you know, their number one receiver and a guy that that bails Cam Newton out by going up and getting some catches and making plays down the field. I see that a lot in Auden Tate. I definitely think that's the role he's going to fill in the NFL. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these. The best way to get it is to subscribe. So make you make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm at draft underscore Brian. Uh, make sure you follow at NFL Draft Geek also. And make sure you're going to NFLDraftGeek.com for all your, your daily draft needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time.